Okay, we are live. And we will show all of this stuff. We didn't still come up with a plan. Um, do you want to do, <laughs> you want to um, do like five at a time again? Yeah, that sounds uh, good. And just take your time. Um, take your take time, your like explain, explaining them and stuff. It's, we're fine. Okay. I set this up to go for two hours. Okay. For some reason, I can't type in the chat. Oh, here we go. In our chat or the? Um, in the, the YouTube chat, but it, it's working now. For some reason, it, it wouldn't let me. Okay. So. Uh, I just saw Nancy. How much stuff did you, how much new stuff did you get listed? <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, you're funny. She is funny. Nancy, I don't know what time Chrissy got home last night, but we met at probably about quarter to 10 yesterday morning. Yeah. And I left her at 530 and she was still shopping. I got <laughs> home about 630, 645. Uh, I got home and, um, and then my husband's like, you didn't bring dinner. So I had to run back out and, um, we got some dinner and, uh, yeah, it was a long day. So what time did you finally get home? Um, well, I texted you when I got home, but it was probably... Oh, it was like 9 or something. 9, yeah. Ooh. Did you stop because anywhere else? I did. <laughs> it's, a, it's an illness. I ain't gonna lie to you. I stopped at one morning. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do like those long days. Um and I'm glad that I had plenty of bottled water with me. That's something, if you guys are going to marathon like this, um, make sure you take a couple of things. Hand sanitizer. Hey, Linda. Uh, hand sanitizer or like wipes or something because your hands get filthy. Um, even just regular thrifting, um, you know, and if you're doing it for hours and hours and hours like that, your hands will get filthy. Um, make sure you wear comfortable shoes. And um, take bottled water and snacks um, because I think that that just makes it a lot more pleasant. Uh, we didn't stop for lunch or anything until like three something. And uh, that gave us that boost to get going back again. Hey, Charisma. Um, we're going to, and uh, Cindy's here, Michelle. Um, we're going to get started in just a second. We're just waiting for a few more folks to uh, join. Uh, but it looks like. We've got a nice little group started. So, Chris, you you ended up how, buying how how many items for resale? I think it was 38, 36-ish. I don't know. Um, and never touch your face with your fingers until you're able. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> and you all know me. Yes, everyone, do we sound okay and look okay, I guess, to everyone? Yeah, it's, it, does everything look okay? Because we're just blathering on like a normal <laughs> Like, like nobody else is here. Right, exactly. Um, but if you guys watch my videos, you know I touch my face constantly. It's like a tick or something. Uh, not like I have a tick, but the, I have a tick. But anyway, um, yeah, hand sanitizer for sure. But Chris, you bought 36 or 38 items. How much did you spend? I spent $111. And what is your projection? My projection is oh nine hundred and twenty seven dollars. Hey Cam, sorry you can't stay. Um, but yeah, this will be up later. Uh, let's see. I ended up with okay, I spent about $150 yesterday. Let's just be, you know, hi, I'm Sarah and I have a shopping problem. But um, <laughs> um charisma, those are all great suggestions. But um, I spent about a hundred and 30 to 50, I don't calculate exactly, um, but I only spent about $87 for resale. Everything else, I bought clothes for the grandkids and pictures for my daughter's apartment and pictures here and just a lot of stuff. Um, but I uh, end up looking at about $881 for um, my projected return. And that being said, that's what we're hoping to get for these items. But of yeah. course, not every item is going to sell for exactly what we want it to. Um, so, but that's kind of what we're shooting for. But um, Chris, you've got more items than me. So do you want to start off with your first five? Are you trying to say? 
I'm saying she got a bigger problem than I do. <laughs> bigger problem. Um, and then also, I mean, I, I didn't give you my total that I spent. I actually spent more than the 111 because I did, I am keeping some things to myself and whatever. So yeah, I actually I really part of it's 111. So, all right, um, I am going to start with electronics. I kind of have broken up into groups here. So. Electronics. Um, all right, this adorable little wall clock from General Electric, which I swear is the same one that was on my my uh, childhood home wall. Um, I paid a dollar ninety nine for it, and it will sell for probably about fifteen, but it might not sell anyway because I might keep it. Okay. All right, I put this in the electronics category just because. I, I, I guess it's personal care, let's say. So it is a ladies' massager vibrator thing in the box. Now, this is the funny part. Look how twisted this cord is on this thing. Like, somebody was using this a lot. I mean, a lot. And, um, Anyway, that I paid. Let's see. I paid three ninety nine. I expect to get about twenty for it, and that'll probably go on Etsy. As would the clock if I go that direction. Um, I don't know if this is computer electronics, more home office, just a TI thirty six X, which is a bad buy. I shouldn't have bought it. It's like ten dollars or something. Uh, ten dollars. I paid three ninety nine. Bad buy. Um. This, I only bought it, even though the brand name's not great, Lennox Sound or whatever, I bought it because it's brand new in the package. Um, and that I paid, let's see, uh, 99 cents, and I expect to get about 25 for that. This is my bummer because I still have to, I don't know anything about fixing radios, but I bought this vintage um, Panasonic, right? Yeah, yeah Panasonic video that um, it kind of goes in and out, doesn't come in very clearly, which is a real bummer because I don't know anything about fixing them. But um, I paid $1.99. It could sell for as high as $100 working properly, this particular one. So I'm kind of bummed. I might reach out to some people on YouTube and see if I can get any help. If I'm to fix it. And then I'll just do one more electronics item and I'll take care of my electronics. Okay, this is a big mother, another one I don't know anything about, and I paid not ten ninety nine for this. This is a Shannon Sound forty one hundred uh, projection projector. And the only thing I'm seeing from the pictures online is that it is missing the uh, so this arm comes up and the wheel spins so the projection as it goes on there, and uh, I don't have a wheel so. If, if it were complete, or if I can sell it as it is, um, I'm going to guess I'm going to get about 40 or 50. Back to you, sir. All right. Did that help the echo at all? Because we don't want you to have to, I mean, it's frustrating to have to listen to an echoey sound because if you're still hearing it, I will do something different. You need me to put in my earphones? Maybe if you think that will help. Let's see. It's worth a try. I'll go get some. No, it's still the same. Head. Okay. So, yeah, put in headphones and see if that helps. Right and then if that doesn't fix it, then we'll put in, um, I'll put in some headphones because I've got two monitors and one of them has speakers and that might be throwing us off. So, anyway, um, let's show you some of the stuff that I got. And I like that. Um, the trick when you're when you're sourcing with someone is, you know, kind of whoever sees it first gets it. Um, but uh, we generally there's some things that we're looking for that's the same. But a lot of times we're looking at different stuff. We don't always sell the the same stuff. But um, we always and she always finds these amazing things that I never see, and I find things and she's like, I didn't even know you bought that. So um, yeah, um, it's it's 
fun to have a sourcing partner. You just have to, you know, remember to be fair with each other. And that's never even a discussion that we've had. It just, that's the way it is. So I bought these and I can't find a good comp um, for these, but these, uh, it's a set of eight um, barware glasses uh, with gold rim. They're a wheat and um, they're gold and white wheat pattern in, in a rack. This is probably from the 60s, I'm guessing. I paid five bucks for this. I am expecting to get about, yeah, I could be a little more prepared. Couldn't I? I am expecting to get about 30 bucks for those is what I'm hoping for. Um, and uh, hey, Amalia. And um, I am, um, you know, that is one of those things where I am of the mindset that um, if you ask $10 for it, it'll sell for $10. And I don't know, I've said that over and over again. So I'm going to ask $30 for those. And this might go over on Etsy because um, they, you know, they just have a better market. So um, this was an interesting toy that I bought. This is made by Lamaze. And this is from, I think, 2004. And I paid two bucks for this little toy. And um, these sell for about $25 to $30. So I'm going to try and get $25 out of that. Uh, we found this in a Goodwill. And I don't know why, but these, these are pretty profitable. Um, I paid two bucks for it. It's a mail organizer and a key, um, a key little storage unit. And it hangs, you know, in the house and it's made of wood. And um, I think that did, we looked this up yesterday. Is it 20 or 25? So, that area. Yeah. So um, I, bought, I bought this. Um, it's made by West Bend. It's called a high uh, performance food processor. And I bought this to, to part out. Um, because this is worth more for parts than it's, um, worth as, as a unit. So like the bowl is, is about 20 or $25. The blade is $10. Um, the motor is worth about $20, which I don't understand because you can buy the whole thing for about $20. And then, Hey, hey thanks Lonnie. And, um, uh, and then I'll part this out as well. I expect to make about $60 on this $5 blender. And one last item, and we'll switch it back to Chris, is this, um, I bought an old radio too. This is an old sound design. Sound design is not exactly the best brand. It's really popular in like the 60s, 70s, um, into the 80s. And then I don't know if they... They still make anything or not, but um, this is just a portable stereo. It's got a place for headphones, and I haven't checked it yet. But I am, um, I am hoping to get maybe 20, 20 bucks, twenty five bucks on on this little guy. All right, Chris, you want to jump in with your next five? Okay. Um, first off, I want to just see if the echo is any better for me. If anybody could let us know. Um, and I will start now with like appliances. So she's always very prepared. I was so surprised at this, but um, so this is a Black and Becker. Oh, I lost my. I lost my uh, here. A Black and Decker handy pop and serve um, popcorn popper. This is the top part to it. Oh, I'm just going to leave it out while I'm talking. And um, I was kind of surprised that that was as valuable as it was. So I paid, um, oh, let's see. I paid 99 cents and it'll go for about 30, which I was surprised at. Uh, the second item is a salad shooter. I think we're all familiar with these guys. And it's got all of its parts and pieces, which I think, you know, you could sell it as the whole. I paid two ninety nine. I can get probably about twenty four dollars for it, um, selling it as a whole, or I could probably part it out for a little more than that. And then the third thing is 
another big guy. <laughs> Sarah's got me brave in buying big things. Oh, no, I could fr I could ship anything. Okay, this is a La Presse Gourmet Food something server preparer or something like that. Anyway, um, where's the name at? La Presse right there. And it's got all of these various cutting blades and juicer blade things and apple core chopper things, all these different things, okay? Um, and that, again, I was surprised. I paid $1.99 for that at the Valley Thrift. You got to love the Valley Thrift. Um, and I expect to get about 35 for that. Now, that's another thing I could part out probably if I... Uh, if I was of a mind to, but we'll see. Sorry, that's making a lot of noise. All right. I think that's it for my appliances. <laughs> do you want me to keep going here? You know what? I'll do these two right now. A um, pair of uh, Liz Claiborne eyeglasses. Nothing spectacular. Probably, I probably paid a dollar and they're probably worth 15 maybe. This is one I'm not sure if it's going or staying, but the Samsonite train case in that kind of baby blue color. It's gorgeous. It's perfect inside. It's got the key. It's got the tray. Um, and I paid very little for it. I paid $1.99. And I think if I sold it, I could probably get around 30 for it. I love those train cases. Um, I do too, but... How many can you have in one lifetime? Three, apparently, right now. I was going to say, is this a trick question? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So this is something that I bought for two ninety nine, dollars And um, I, I, honestly, my sister has this kind of stuff in her kitchen, and my daughter has this country kitchen kind of thing. And um, I thought, well, you know, one of them might like this. Um, it, it didn't have all of this damage when I bought it, but I dropped it in the parking lot, putting it, putting it in the car when I almost tipped the entire cart over. But um, this has sold for $100, $120. I was kind of surprised by that, but it is vintage enamel wear. I'm hoping maybe in this condition I can get 60 to 70 for this, but um, it's got the old red handle and... Um, just a cool piece. I could see that in an old country kitchen. Of course, I buy these stupid spoon racks every time I see them. This one's not worth as much. I paid three bucks for this one. Probably paid uh, too much for it. Um, but it'll go about 18 bucks. I, they sell. I don't understand why they Yeah, sell. and I mean, the thing about those, you know, those things are is that it's not the same as like a multiple quantity, but if you've got listings for them already, if you've already put the time in to describe what a thing is or, you know, all you do is change measurements and you're good. Yeah, you know? it, I will use another one of my listings and um, yeah. and get that listed. It'll be easy. It'll be quick and easy. Um, I bought this because I couldn't stop myself, which is a common issue. I paid um, like three bucks, not even three bucks for all of these, about two fifty. This is that old melamine. And... Um, I love this little baby pink color. Um, I've got the cream and sugar and the bowl. I'm going to try and get uh, 20 or so, maybe 25 on Etsy for that. And then, you know, guys, I love to part stuff out just because it's more profitable. A lot of times it's easier to ship than the, than the entire item. Um, and so I'm always looking for stuff like this. Even if I don't know exactly what brand it is, I'll sometimes take a risk. This one actually says Cuisinart on it. So I paid the three bucks for the bag and um, got to looking. And first of all, these are like pristine because they're still oh, wrapped. Wow. I don't even think these have, that has been used. Um, it's got the S blade, the dough blade, the lid, two um, of the other shredder blades for the fruit food processor. Um, this is the, the neck or the stem. 
And I'm not sure if this goes with it or not, but it looks like some kind of pusher or something. I'm not really sure. But I estimate that I'm going to get about $60 out of this $3 bag of Cuisinart parts. Yippee. Um, yeah, and these will all ship easy. And um, they'll list easy. And this is one of those uh, items that you can do a variation listing on and make it really easy to list. Yep. So... I think I got one more to do. Um, and if there's any of you that don't know what a variation list is, maybe I need to just let us know. Yeah, um, and that's also a video I can do um, because honestly, I have been so scared of doing a variation listing. Um, there are part numbers on it, Amalia. That's the good thing about. Um, that's the good thing about companies like Cuisinart, um, KitchenAid, and those larger companies. They will put model numbers or the, the, the blade number on it, the part number on it, and um, they make it really easy for you to figure out what they go to. Um, so I bought these for six bucks. This is a set of... Uh, Golf club covers. It's missing. No, I think it's it's got the one, three, five, four, and five. Um, and I think I can probably get thirty or thirty-five dollars for that stuff. That's my five, Chris. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of moving on to sort of a home decor. Yeah, let's call it that. Or kid miscellaneous right. kitchen. All right. <laughs> this I just see this totally on Etsy. Um, it's an adorable little owl thermos, Aladdin thermos, with this like, kind of denim background. And it's, you know, it's good. The glass inside is not broken or anything, and the lid fits tight, and all that's good. So, um, and that I gave, hmm, yeah, I gave $1.99. I think I can get about 20 for it. Uh, these two, I don't usually buy mugs, although you wouldn't know it from yesterday because I bought several. Um, but these two are Hilo Hattie mugs. Um, we probably are familiar with Hilo Hattie and shirts more than anything, the Hawaiian type shirts. But this is like a bird of paradise flower on a Hilo Hattie mug. And I was kind of surprised. The two of them, I paid 49 cents a piece for those. And I think together I can probably get about 24, 25 for those. I bought this guy, or I picked it up thinking I would find the <laughs> bottom, but I never did. But it's the top to, like, I guess, a sh is it a sugar bowl, you think? Uh, it's probably some kind of casserole dish, probably. Okay. Given the size of it, yeah. Probably like a one-quart casserole. Okay. Um, anyway, I just thought it was really pretty and oh. cute, and everybody loves roosters, you know. Those roosters sell. Um, so I think... I would be more likely to drop the top of something and break it than I would be the bottom. So maybe somebody's looking for this replacement piece, but it's hard for me to gauge how much that'll be. I'll probably say $10, $15 maybe on it. Um, and I think I only gave uh, a couple bucks for it, although I'm not finding it at this particular moment on my sheet. Yeah, I gave $2.99 and I think I can get about 10 for it. And even if you don't sell that, that would be cute out in like a flower bed. Oh, that yeah. would be really cute in a flower bed. So. Yep. Yep. Um, and then these items are Etsy material as well. Um, it's just a set of these three Sirocco butterflies, the white butterflies. And in a separate store, we found these two mirrors. So I think I could probably, even though the whites look a little dingy on the butterflies compared to the mirrors, I think I can lot them together, or if I can't, you know, I can lot these two and this um and i think i can probably get what did i say for that like oh i hate when i do this hmm i don't know i don't have it on my list it looks like it might be because i was thinking about keeping it but I know I gave 59 cents for one and 99 cents for the other two butterflies. And then these two were 99 cents as well, the two mirrors. So, oh, you so know. less than four bucks for all that. Yeah, I mean, it's not, not a lot. Yeah, and I bet you, was, you could probably get at least 20 for that. I'm 
Uh, I'm guessing. So. I think you can probably get more. Yeah. All right. And then um, this was a kind of like, huh, what's that? I'll pick it up and look at it. <laughs> so it's an Aladdin thermos, Stanley thermos handle replacement handle. I'm sorry. And it's got this strap and all that in it. Um, I had to do a little bit of research last night just to determine like what model of Stanley thermos it goes on. But um, I only gave 99 cents for it and I think I can get maybe 10 for it, but I just thought it was interesting and I like putting stuff like this in my Etsy store just for visual mm -hmm. appeal. And uh, that'd be it for that category. <laughs> wow. You, I, I can, you know, I feel like such a train wreck. You've got all of your stuff broken into categories. She had it on a spreadsheet, I promise you, last night before she went to bed. She's so, it is on a spreadsheet. Yeah, I know. It's, it's printed out. <laughs> of course it is. But um, I envy that kind of organization. I'm envious of it, and I'm scared of it as well. Um, I typically, <laughs> I typically will buy um, vacuum cleaner parts when I find them if they're cheap. Even if I don't look them up in the moment, if they're cheap enough, I buy them. <coughs> um, this, was, this was 99 cents. And it's got two Hoover brushes in it um, and a hose. So I'm, It's got a lot more pieces in it now. Um, it's got this hose in it. But I think I can get, I could have gotten 15 or $20 for this. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, 15 or 20 dollars for that yeah, let's see um, speaking of vacuum cleaner parts this is I'm not gonna take this all out but this is a Kirby um, g6 shampooer and um, uh, it actually has some shampoo in here it looks like it's complete I paid $1.99 for that. I'm going to price that around $27, $28. Bought this, um, I bought this Fisher Price Crib to Floor Mobile. This is not the super duper expensive one that, that projects on the ceiling. I have, I'm a grandmother eight times so that I, 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 I have enough grandkids to know that they make that one. But this is not that one. I paid four bucks for this. I think I can get twenty to twenty-five for it. Um, and even I don't, if I don't sell it, as most of you know, I have a three-day-old grandson, so uh, he, he can use that. And uh, so this was a total, a total score. This will be like your bolo for me um, when you're out shopping, particularly right now, uh, going into Q4. And that's these, Caroling Christmas Bells. And these are from the 80s, I'm pretty sure. The tag on this one says it was sold in La at Lazarus, but it doesn't have a price on it. But it's these 12 bells um, that plug in, and they play Christmas music. And um, apparently it was a thing. Apparently it's still a thing because... Um, even on Christmas Eve last night, this set sold for $125. Um, I paid $1.99 for this. And um, the low price on these was around $40. So I'm going to price mine high and hope they sell. So I think I'm going to ask about $100 bucks for those. And we'll see what happens. Nice. Is that my He's turn? got a couple home runs in there, Lonnie. Yeah. We'll see, uh, Cindy. Um, and then I bought this um, <laughs> wine rack. Or you could you could roll up towels and put towels in it in your bathroom. Um, I paid five bucks for this. I'm probably going to price this around twenty five. Um, it's uh, actually wrought iron, and it's got a gold finish to it, so. That'll be pretty popular, I would hope. Um, Chris, you want to give your next part? Sure. Yeah, I'll just uh, continue to about the those bells. Now, last year I found it, it wasn't the, the bells by themselves. It was like these little toy soldiers playing, 
what playing the bells, like ringing the bells or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I sold that for about eighty or ninety dollars, right around Christmas time. So yeah, you got to look for those Mister Christmas things and the Gemi things. Yeah, um, I sold Grandpa's Redneck Country Band or something. Okay, it wasn't. <laughs> But it, it made me miss my mom. I think you're making it up. <laughs> but it was some kind of, it was Grandpa's or Santa's Christmas band or something um, last year. And that sold pretty well, too. Sure, sure. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, since we're talking about holidays, I'm, I'll go ahead and go into my holidays. So I bought another one of these. Haven't tested it yet or replaced the batteries. to. God, this is a pain with these headphones. Um, another one of these Hallmark animated plushes. Um, I already have one just like this that works fine. Um, and um, I'm just stockpiling them because I have a couple other ones too, apparently. Um, that I only gave $1.99 for and can probably sell it for about $20. And then I found in two different stores, not one, but two of these dancing snowmen guys. Um, this guy works. The other guy I haven't tested yet. Uh, he doesn't work with the try me button, but he might work otherwise. Um, and that is from Gemi. That is, uh, hold on. They both were in the box, by the way. I just took them out for the sake of showing it. So it's a spinning snowflake snowman. And um, I gave $1.99 for one of them and $4.99 maybe for the other or $2.99 and $4.99, something like that. Um, I think I can probably get about $100 for the two of them separately. Wow. 50. I mean, 50 each. 50 each. Got it. Yes. Got it. I think so. Yes. Um, and uh, that is it for my holidays. Yeah. But I can continue if you'd like. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So toys and games. On to toys and games. My mother and I played this game like crazy when I was growing up, so I have a little bit of a soft spot in my heart for Othello, so I pick them up when I see them. They don't sell that uh, fantastically anymore, but um, I paid two ninety nine, and I can probably get about 19 or $20 for it. I did not play Stratego growing up, but my brothers did, and I'm always a sucker for those, too, because you can just sell the pieces to this as well. And you could also sell the pieces to Othello, just the, the uh, flip the discs. You could sell those, too. Um, this is complete, this Stratego, and this is a 1986 version. And I paid $2.99, and I expect to get about 20 out of that. And then the other toys and games, hobbies, whatever you want to call it, category, um, was this lawn bowling, <laughs> vintage lawn bowling game um, from Kent. Yeah, Kent is the brand name. Vintage lawn bowling. So sort of a bocce ball uh, uh, idea, I guess. I cannot find this exact one anywhere. And Sarah, I might have you look at um, fourth point for me. Okay. Because um, I cannot find this exact one, but some of the older bocce ball ones that are wooden balls, which this is not, um, they go for huge money. I was really surprised at that. Um, but I think yeah, even this one as it is, without doing any research, I think I can probably get 40 for it. But these balls aren't wooden. I don't know just what they are. It's a hard plastic. But anyway, and I gave... $3.99 for that. And I think um, I think I can probably get about, like I said, about 40 for it. Okay, done. Back to you. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you guys have Christmas related items, now is the time to be listing those because people are already shopping. Um, you've got folks that like to decorate early. Um, and, yeah. and the needle points and those kind of craft things yeah. especially because people want to get them done. Yeah, because they want to get them done before Christmas. But, um, um, and also there are people that, you know, they have a fixed income, so they're going to spread out their shopping over the next four, four months, four or five months, um, so that they can buy for everyone. So go ahead and get your stuff listed. Um, I bought these. These are Home Co. Home Interiors 
seagulls because who wouldn't want like gold plastic seagulls in their life? Um, but these actually, I <laughs> yeah, I don't know a soul that wouldn't want these. I paid a whopping 49 cents for these. <laughs> and I think I can get reasonably like, like the price of these are going for about 20 bucks. I am so surprised. And even with packing materials, these probably can still go first class. They're so lightweight. Um, for those of you that are in my general age range of half a century, um, I uh, I know that you'll recognize, if not the style, the owl. This is made by Sexton, and um, you know, green just screams '60s and '70s. But um, this is cast aluminum. It actually there was actually a pair of them. Um, unfortunately, I only found one, but. And he's not perfect. He's got a little bit of, of wear here, but so do I. And um, <laughs> I paid 99 well, it's cents. Well, not well, all right. Right. But I digress. Um, I paid 99 cents for him. I'm going to put him on, on Etsy for like 13 bucks. Um, my first new in box uh, three tier spoon rack. I paid three bucks for this. I'm going to ask about $25 for that one. Um, let's see. And then we're getting down to like only a handful of items left. Drips and drips. Yep. Yeah. Um, this is Iowa, uh, which is a decent brand. And uh, this is a cross trainer. And it's actually old technology. It's cassette, um, but uh, it's made to it's made for you to use while you're while you exercise. And yeah, it's not as practical as maybe a little iPod, but I just thought it was kind of cool. It had the original headphones with with it. I paid two dollars for this, and I think I can get about twenty for it uh, once it's tested. I have not tested anything yet, and. Um, this is a Wagner Erlex, um, paint spraying kit. And this, um, I paid $7.99 for, and I believe I didn't see a ton of solds, but I believe I can get 60 bucks for that. All right. I think that's back to you. Back, back to you. you. Back to you in Cincinnati, Chris. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, if you don't like linens, you're going to be bored for the next five minutes. Because <laughs> I bought a lot of linens. And I tell you why. Because they're profitable. And because I love them. So there you go. Um, so uh, this first set may not be leaving my house because I might use it myself, but it is because it's not any fancy brand name or anything, but I just like the pattern on it. It's a nice duvet, uh, good weight, you know, come, and it's cotton, and I like that. And it was the duvet and two shams, and um, it kind of goes with my color scheme in my bedroom anyway, so that might just be staying here. But if it should happen to leave... Uh, let's see, what did I pay? I paid, I don't know. I don't know. I paid, it wasn't, I paid something Yeah, for it wasn't it. very much though. I don't, I don't think. I mean, maybe $6.99 or $7.99. Yeah. Maybe I didn't put it on my list because I'm not planning on selling it. That might be true. Um, and then um, these also, are, I can't find a, I mean, there's no label on them. But these are curtains, like um, two opposing, you know, they would meet each other in the middle or whatever. Mm -hmm. Very Laura Ashley-esque uh, floral fabric, but there is no tag on them anywhere. But anyway, it was a pair of those curtains. Oh, this headphone's giving me fits. Did you look in the rod pocket? Did Did you look in the rod pocket? Hmm. To see if there was a tag because I know that they were really good quality yeah they're very heavy I mean they're definitely and I was wondering if maybe they they're were not homemade. waverly or something 
Yeah, I mean, they definitely have that kind of look, don't mm -hmm. they? They sure do. But no, no nope, nothing. nothing in there. Okay. But anyway, you, I you think might want them. You might be able to take a a picture of just the pattern and then try a reverse Google search and see if that yeah. does anything yeah. for you. Yeah, I might. You're right, Marcy. You cannot sell heavily stained, damaged, frayed, oh, yeah. um, torn linens. It's they want pristine. If they're vintage linens, they want pristine linens. Um, right. And what what I like, I mean, what um, like I don't know about fancy pieces and you know lace and all that kind of stuff. I just know what I like to look at. Like, and I know what. Um, I mean, I know what brand names that I know are popular and have researched or whatever. So, I mean, for a lot of times, a lot of times for me, it's just I just buy patterns that I think are pretty or appealing or that would appeal to a particular audience based on the subject matter. So, I'm not like an expert in the quality of linens or uh, fabric or construction or anything like that. But you know, I do sew and I do know what's made handmade yeah. and what's not and what's uh, what's quality you know, fabric. Yeah. What, from the tags, what what is old and what's yeah. newer. So, and I just love them. I just love them. Um, so the next two are two pillow shams from Martha Stewart. That I was thinking it was twelve, but I don't know if I, I would call that graphic. twelve. Yeah, just like a graphic. Just flower. like a floral. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so it's two Martha Stewart standard size pillow shams, and those I paid. Dollar thirty-eight for the two of those. I don't know how that worked out. What would that be a piece? Dollar thirty-eight. Dollar dollar seventy-two seventy-six. No, a dollar thirty-eight for the pair. I'm sorry. Oh, for the pair. I'm sorry. I, 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 Sixty-nine cents. Yes, I don't do math. <laughs> Something like that. So anyway, I think I can sell the two of them for twenty-four. <laughs> oh, that's um, good. Yeah. And this is. Is this Laura? Yeah, Laura Ashley. Um, she's almost always going to sell. And it's another sham, pillow sham. Um, it looks like it's probably a king size. It's pretty big. Just a nice blue, understated, you know, not too crazy Laura Ashley. Uh, and since I only have one of those, I think I said I would probably get... So I paid $0.69, cents and I can probably get 20 for it. That's not bad. I'll take it. Um, this sheet, I just... Uh, my eye was drawn to it because it's beautiful. Uh, I mean, it's colorful. Not beautiful. Um, and it's... Dinosaurs. Oh, I didn't see that. That's cute. And it's by Circo. C-I-R-C-O. That's a Target um, brand. Is it? Yeah. I don't. I didn't know that, but I know that. Oh no! I'm sorry. I take it back. This one's not Circo. This one's Jumping Beans. Jumping um, that's beans. Cole's. Cole's brand. Okay. Anyway, um, it just felt good, like you know, good quality. It wasn't all pilled up, and it you know, it felt heavy and good, and it's certainly colorful. And there's certainly a lot of boys and probably girls that like dinosaurs. So. Um, and the Valley Thrift is so cheap on their linens. That's why I went a little bit crazy there. So I paid 99 cents for that sheet, and I probably can get about 16 for it. Nice. Um, do you have more? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to you. Okay. I'm getting bored with linens. <laughs> um, I just wanted to throw out there that uh, there are some great people that are supporting my channel by being here. And um, and I appreciate appreciate all of you being here, but there are also some fellow you, fellow YouTubers in the group that I want you to check out if you haven't checked out their channel already. Um, one is Linda at Linda's Rocky Mountain Finds. Um, Linda always finds really cool stuff, um, and I've learned a lot from watching her channel just from um, you know having that different regional. Um, you know, the things that she finds in her region are a little bit different than some of the things that we find here um, in the Midwest. And um, I just want you to go over and check out her channel. Also, Cindy has a channel. Um, it's called Resale Remedy. She's just getting started. She doesn't have a lot of subscribers yet. But, um, you know, I, I know that uh, she could use your encouragement. And also, Lonnie is here or was here earlier. Um, 
and his channel is called Garage Flips, and he always finds good stuff too. And um, he he does a lot of informational type um, videos as well. So, uh, and if I've missed somebody, I apologize, but definitely go check out their channels. Um, we're all in here. Um, and we're all in this together and we all need to support each other. So, um, you know, check out their channel as well. And I appreciate all of you taking the time to be here today. Um, I appreciate it so much. So I thought I found the Holy Grail. But alas, but alas. the, the uh, shower, the scrubbing bubbles shower uh, device is the, is the Holy Grail, not the liquid that goes in it. This doesn't sell for that much, maybe seven or eight dollars shipped. Um, I paid two ninety nine for this, and I'm gonna keep this in the event that I find one of those scrubbing bubbles, uh, you know, automatic shower cleaner devices. I can lock this with it. Um, it's called the power of positive thinking. Yes, that's find. what it is. That's what it is. And um, if not, I guess I could squirt this in the shower, couldn't? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could always clean your shower with it, right, if nothing exactly. else. I mean, it's like not that's gonna happen. I'm a reseller. Who's got time for housework? <laughs> um, this is <coughs> this is an eight millimeter um, film edit editor. So you can actually put your movie on these reels, and I do have reels with it grab one of those so uh, you put your movie on here and you can actually view it through here and um, you can edit it or, or splice it or whatever and I pay not much for this let's see I paid $4.99 for this and it also has a the same brand um, a um, quick called a quick spot splice and it also has some extra reels with it and I think I can get for all of this stuff this isn't this does about 22 to 24 dollars but I think with all the extra stuff I can easily get 30 for this item and if I thought I would was in a situation where I would run into a lot of um, film um, cause eight millimeters kind of old, but, um, if I thought I was going to run into a lot of film, I might keep that splicer so I could actually watch the films to look at their content and look at their condition, but I don't run into it that much. So I'm going to sell that, uh, cause that's how I roll. I sell stuff. <laughs> um, let's see. I just have two more items and then there's one extra thing I'm going to show you that I didn't include in any of, um, the totals or anything. So this is okay. a little rack, and uh, it's got these four little teacups that go with it, and this darling little teapot. You guys know I have a thing. Um, this one is actually Pier 1, and um, cute. You can't see the color on that as well through the screen it was really a yeah. pretty color it's yeah it's kind of a, a gray blue um with a nice floral pattern and i paid five bucks for this i'm going to try and get about 25 for it um just because i said so uh, and then <laughs> amalia <laughs> says oh you and your teapots i know i know <laughs> amalia's been here for five minutes in my life and she already knows <laughs> so this was my my most expensive item and probably my biggest return. It's <gasps> it's this. <laughs> I appreciate the dramatic move there. You're uh, it's the set of uh, vintage TV trays, and they are immaculate. I'm sure they are grandma, absolutely perfect. I don't think there's yeah. a spot of rust or nope. dirt damage or anything on them anywhere. Yeah, Mimo must not have let anybody use those. Mm -hmm. um, but they are on a rolling cart that has a couple of bent wheels that I think I can fix. And I paid 15 bucks for that. And it has... <laughs> Drum roll. Yeah, Ready? it has sold a couple of times on eBay recently, in the last few months. 
for $125 and $130. Cha-ching! Yeah. And that is a shipped price. But, um, you know, I still am probably going to go up pretty high with these just because they're in such good shape. Um, usually you see these, they're been, they're been up, they're scratched up. The surfaces aren't very clean. And um, these are in really good condition. So I bought this bag of junk. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. I just bought this <laughs> bag, bag of, junk. of junk that I couldn't really tell what was in here, but I thought that's a $5 mystery I'm willing to get involved with. And um, I will, will do that, Amalia, because I know that that's going to be a, um, a little bit of a tricky one, but I think I'm just going to uh, stretch wrap it together on the stand, bubble wrap it, and then find a, a big flat box for it. But, so um, let me interject something real quick here. So I don't know if any of you watch um, Jason T. Smith's show with his mother, which is being thrifty over 50 or something. Um, but her and her husband, his dad, buy those tray tables, find those all the time. And he's they've done a video on packaging them, um, which is doing exactly what you just said. But you know what really surprised me is that he even leaves one side, like he covers one side with cardboard, but the other side he doesn't. Uh -huh. Like it wraps around just slightly so that people can, so that the post office can see what it is and maybe they'll treat it more gingerly. <laughs> wow. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I thought that was kind of odd. <clears throat> anyway, go ahead. So this is my mystery buy for $5. Um, I'm going to have to do a little repair. One of his legs has fallen <laughs> off because this is just like, like rope or string. Um, and you're like, oh, that's okay. That's kind of okay until you realize what we've Wait got going on here. And <coughs> this has interchangeable holiday. No, you didn't. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh stop I, it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like color forms on wood. I know. <laughs> this is, um, I love the fact that Charisma just said hermetically sealed. That is, yes. <laughs> I love saying that. But anyway, I don't know <laughs> anything about what this bear will be worth or any of that, or if it's marketable. I don't know. But let me just tell you that there is an outfit for any conceivable <laughs> holiday that you could come up with. Um, Mother's Day. <laughs> what does one wear on Mother's Day? I'm sure that there's some kind of flowered hat in there. Um, <laughs> here's one for back to school. Father's Day. Looks like he wears a cape. Easter. <laughs> I'm not going to go through all these. St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day. So I, somebody put a lot of time into this. This is not my cup of tea. And you know how I love tea. But... Um, I, I, I don't buy things <coughs> always that I like. I buy things that I think are marketable. And I think there is a market for this. Um, I might get $25 or 30 bucks maybe uh, once I repair it. And it looks like there's enough string in here to make the repair. But I just thought that was funny because when I opened that up and started, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Somebody cut out every little dress and painted every little thing for this bear. So anyway, um, that was the last thing that I bought. I'm pretty sure. Um, I know, and I know you've got some more, so I'm going to flip back over to you, but I know what my next three days are going to look like. Right. Right. Okay. So back to me. Yes. Okay. Um, so I will continue on with the lens. <laughs> Another no name or I can't find a name for on it. Um, Tablecloth, but it's just a cool botanical print that I think would be popular. Um, I did not uh, research because it's it doesn't have a brand name. Um, but I think I gave a couple oh, bucks for it, and I don't have it handy, do I? Yes, I do. Uh, I paid sixty nine cents. So I think at the least, I mean, I could get 10 or 15 out of it if I wanted to sell it. Although it does match my kitchen. Just saying. All right. This is another 
no, this is Pottery Barn. So Pottery Barn, Pillow Sham, nothing spectacular or special, just pretty ordinary Pillow Sham. Um, I gave $1.99 for it, but this will sell for about $30. Wow. Why I love linens. I mean, what? how much room does that take up to store? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, I love it. So this I bought because they were beautiful and because they, they had a brand name that I was familiar with, but I can't find them anywhere. So these are Nautica. And it, again, two more pillow shams. But, um, the colors mm -hmm. and the pattern on this. Is that, are those irises? Um... I don't know. I thought I saw irises on there, but maybe not. I don't know. Just kind of an abstract, nondescript flower. And then the back is just a nice beige and white stripe, nothing spectacular. And it kind of has this burlap or nautical rope look mm. around the outside of it. I cannot find the set in the, the research I did, which was a little more time than I would like to spend on research. But I would imagine, based on other Nautica uh, sets, that I can probably, um, I mean, I gauged what my selling price would be based on that. And that is, I paid $3.99, and I expect I can get 20 for the two of them, Sweet. which isn't as great a return as, like, the Laura Ashley, but, I mean, seriously, like, it's nothing if it's, to ship if it's, on Yeah, if it's easy to ship, easy to list. Yeah. Um, this one is... A flat sheet that is bamboo. Just a nice bamboo print. The top portion has the <clears throat> this green border. Uh, I can't remember if this is Wamsetta <clears throat> or Dan River, and I can't find it at the moment. Um, it's Wamsetta. Okay, Wamsetta, W-A-M-S-U-T-T-A, uh, is a good brand from you know, back in the day. I paid two ninety nine. I could probably get 15 for it. I mean, just because I think people do decorate with, like, this kind mm -hmm. of decor, and <clears throat> that's why I picked it up. And it was in perfect shape. I don't think it had been, been washed. <clears throat> I washed it because it was, it was still kind of crispy feeling, but I washed it because it smelled. All right, more Laura Ashley yumminess. Now, I am not a Laura Ashley fan. <laughs> I'm not really a big florals fan. Or her florals are usually a little florally for me. Yeah, <laughs> they're they're a little florally. Um, so again, Laura Ashley. Um, this these are two a pair of curtains. I'm not gonna pull them all up, but anyway, and I think this is called Bramble. When I looked it up, um, Bramble Berry is the pattern on this one. I was going to say, could you turn your berries down? Because you're a little loud. <laughs> <laughs> you just see that on a couch. Oh. Woo! Um, and I paid, let's see, I paid $1.98 for the pair, and I expect I can sell them for about $30. Oh, oh that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then... Again, this was a no-name brand, but um, it had horses on it, so I got it. So it's just like a kind of muted little horse print, and it's just a set of two pillowcases. So, I mean, you know, 10 bucks maybe at the most, but I probably gave 69 cents for it. The other thing is kind of big. I don't know that I can really bring it in here, but it's um, a big denim comforter that had pockets on the, like, and the sides of it, the long ends of it. It's a twin size. We could not find a brand name anywhere on it, but it has a very similar look to like the uh, it, it almost Ralph, looks, Ralph Lauren yeah, and Tommy you know, other ones, even. Yeah. Tommy Hilfiger, you know that that type. But um, wait a minute, I'm just reading something in the chat. You know that Laura Ashley has a print that you showed us earlier in the show. Julie may be able to identify it for you. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, let me just grab it. <laughs> It's just big. It's big. It's big. I mean, it's not big. It's twin size, but it's very heavy. It's really thick. 
It's very thick. And it's got these cool little pockets on the side so you can store like your remote control or the book you're reading or your iPad or whatever in it. And it's just really well made, very heavy quality um, duvet. I paid $9.99 for that. And if it had a brand name on it, I mean, I could probably get about 60 bucks for it. But without that, um, I still think I can do 40 or 50 on it, which isn't a great return on the 9.99. But I have a softness for denim, so I bought it. All right, one more thing in the linens category, anyway. <clears throat> uh, I don't have any children. Don't have much exposure to babies. But I know it looks cute to me. So this is a, a crib sheet, crib set. Um, it's this like arc with the animals, and it's uh, Lambs and Ivy is the brand name. Mm -hmm. Lambs and Ivy. A kid will eat Ivy too. You know that. Kid eat Ivy too. Yeah. Uh, it's just really cute. It says Animal Crackers on this uh, little sign here and then there's a quote about animal crackers and cocoa or something anyway so i got the quilt the two valances in like just the plaid kind of material um the fitted sheet and the bed skirt and I guess this is like a headboard protector thing to keep them from banging around. I don't know. It didn't have all the bumpers. It just had this one. It's soft and plush-like or whatever. It may not have, have it may not have had the bumpers because bumpers are like not a thing now. They're not a thing. I don't even. I, See, it tells you what I know. <clears throat> it also, I know I've also had a listing kicked out of Facebook groups for having bumpers in it so i don't know if bumper pads are like I'll be sure restricted to be now yeah. yeah but anyway i thought this was here's lambs and ivy so you can see the uh tag um it's got a little pillow too that's attached i mean it's attached with their green uh, spheres right now but anyway um Seems like there was one more piece, but I don't know what it was. The quilt, the sheet, the bed skirt, the valances, and the headboard thing. Yeah, I guess that's it. Anyway, I gave, uh, let's see. I gave $9.99 for that. If I can figure out what pattern it is, because at first I thought it was called the SS Noah, but it's not when I compared it. Um, so I need to find out what the pattern name is to sell it more. Uh, I mean, at least market it more prop, you know, or properly. Uh -huh. um, but I think I can probably get about seventy-five for all of that. Um, the uh, the law that I'm referencing is actually specific to Ohio. There is a bumper pad ban in Ohio, so you can't sell bumper pads in Ohio. Now I don't know what the laws are in other states. I just know that that was kind of fresh in my brain that um, there was something about bumper pads. But, yeah, we used to use them all the time when our kids, you know, when I had kids. But um, apparently there's a suffocation um, issue or, or a strangulation issue. I'm not sure. But they have banned those in Ohio. Okay. So that's just a good, uh, good note to you guys to, to make sure that you are checking for things like that, um, and recalled items too, uh, you know, because yeah. you just never know. <clears throat> and there's a good thing too about recalled items that sometimes you can, it depends on how long ago it was recalled, but sometimes you can buy a recalled item, and if there's just a piece of it that's, uh, that's the issue, whatever, yeah. that you can possibly write to the uh, manufacturer and they'll send you that replacement piece to make it good to sell, or they even will um, sometimes refund, give you a partial, like a money back refund yeah, yeah. for the for the item, um, just based on that. So I mean, if you bought a, an appliance for two ninety nine and they gave you thirty, I mean, you're making money. It's not resell, but it's right. <laughs> something. Right. Exactly. <clears throat> All right. Um, that leads me down to my biggest items. So yeah, jump on them. Are, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. No, go ahead. All right, hold on. <laughs> it's this 
required a big box. All right. Get ready. Feast your eyes. Or avert your eyes. <laughs> you All right, I'll start with the small one as to not send you into too big of a frenzy. All right, this is the comedy mask. Uh, gravel art. Pebble art. Uh, piece. This was part of a pair that was obviously comedy and tragedy. I could just sit next to it. And right. We get enough tragedy around here. We can just deal with some right. comedy. So, but I still think I can just sell the one. Um, or if I don't feel like I can't. So it gave six ninety nine for this one, by the way. Um, if I don't think I could sell it by itself, I could always buy the tragedy one and then sell the pair. But I don't think that's the way to go um, on that particular item. But anyway, I have never found gravel art. I've heard about it. I've, I have a kit for sale, a gravel art kit for sale. But I've never actually found it in the wild, like just a finished gravel art piece. In the wild. Um, in the wild, yeah. So I found not only this one, this was actually the third one I found that day. Because the other two, which don't match, but are similar backgrounds. I mean, the uh, back, the board they're on is similar. Okay, get ready. It's coming at you. It's going to gonna come across your screen. Mm, 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 mm. It's like Joel's. Um, it is uh, this amazing basket of flowers in pebbles, gravel art, whatever you want to call it. I gave $4.99 for it. I cannot find this one. I looked on Etsy and on eBay, and I can't find that, that one anywhere. But I think because it's flowers, I think, um, and very colorful, I think it could do quite well. Um, and this third one, was part of a pair as well that I found on Etsy. Um, this is, uh, oh, what was this? An egret, did we say? Yes, I think that's what it is. Okay. Or, a, so or anyway. a heron or something. Maybe it's an egret. Something like that. Maybe it's an egret, it's with, an egret with the feathers on its head. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, um, it's quite spectacular. It is <laughs> mighty fancy. Oh, look at that. Gravel art work. Ugh. Yumminess. Just absolute yumminess. So I also gave $4.99 for this one. And um, again, I think I can probably get just the one there. Um, maybe only 20 or 30 on that one. I don't know. You know, gravel art is something new to me. I had not heard of it. And I don't know that I have ever seen it before. So this was this is like learning for me. I'm learning. Um, I think that's all oh, I've got. That all you've um, got. Like I said, I do. Yeah, and I did, told you I do have a kit. A, 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 it's an owl, gravel art owl mm -hmm. kit that I'm very tempted to do to put together myself because it looks like it's a lot of fun, <laughs> and I think it might sell better if I if it's finished completed. it. Yeah, but what if I make it look awful? Um, Somebody said it looks like they're missing one side of the frame. I don't think so. I think these were meant to look like. Um, like panel like a scroll or yeah sort of like because they're it's the same way on all of them. yeah uh, those were really really cool and again that's one of the things that chris found that um i didn't even see until she already had it in the cart so um you just never know what you're gonna find there's still tons of stuff out there to find i know uh, i think it's funny you know that we, i'm sorry i'm talking over top of you no you're fine nancy what was your question so we can just get it out there in the open uh oh what is it and answer the question all right what is it so i'll talk while she's while we're waiting yeah. um what i think is amazing is that you know some people i think probably are hesitant about shopping with another reseller because they feel like you'll be competing for the same things. But even though we both enjoy a lot of the same, like we're not a closed sellers, we're not closed resellers. Um, and we sell some hard goods and something, but I mean, I didn't find us either one of us ever like grabbing for an item at the same time, or, you know, you found stuff that I thought was way cool. I didn't even see, I found stuff you didn't see. It's just weird, you know, but it, but it just makes it so much more fun when you're with somebody who can appreciate it. Do you know what's even funnier is I said the exact same thing when you were off 
going to get something. I was no. saying the exact same thing that, you know, it's fun to shop with well, somebody. I feel stupid. No, it just, it proves the point that you can shop with somebody. And even if you like similar items and you're going to go for similar items, what well, somebody's going to see something that you didn't see. And, um, you know, it's, it's about that, that, um, that fellowship or that companionship and that networking that you do with somebody else and you learn from other people. So it's really important if you can to find a thrifting buddy, trust me, how much <laughs> did you get listed? Okay. Let me. Yeah. Nothing. Well, none, none. <laughs> nothing. Not single. I have not gotten anything listed, but, but it's all washed. I washed all the clothes or all I the uh, lids. I can't even believe she did all that, but I now I have. I washed all the I now have a death pile. Um, <gasps> yeah, I know. I have probably in the neighborhood of 75 items to get what? listed. That's a lot. I know that's a lot, but I had thrifted heavily um, like Tuesday <laughs> and I thrifted heavily yesterday and I, um, I have a lot to list. So tomorrow, I'm pretty sure will be an all day um, will be an all day listing day and probably a, a long hangout. So Maybe we should just do a 24 hour list. Yeah, yeah, like a marathon listing. Um, I just wanted to show you in case you didn't see that I did buy linens because you've been. You know, I know I was firing touched. Yeah, inspiring me to buy some linens. So I do have those two wash and and uh, list but yeah uh, any other questions and I just found one more thing that I missed. oh okay go ahead it's quick um, it was three Daisy Kingdom um, appliques remember when everybody was making their own sweatshirts with these yeah. appliques <laughs> so um, it's just three of them they're all Halloween so I'm probably gonna lot them together and um, I paid 99 cents a piece for them I mean, I think I can probably get 20. Yeah, you need to get those over on Etsy. Yep. Or maybe yep. maybe both, maybe both places. It could go on both, yeah. Yeah, just don't forget to take okay. it down, which is what I sometimes do. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, it doesn't look like there are any more questions. Um, that is everything. I mean, it was a great day yesterday. We had so much fun. We mm. boogied in the store. <laughs> I won't lie. It wasn't pretty. It, it was not. Um, oh, you, Nan, um, Nana knows about gravel art in her dead. family room. Yeah, I think that's uh, yeah knows about gravel art. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna wrap it up. I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Um, I appreciate that you've taken your time to spend with us. Um, thank you all so much. And um, I will try to do something live again soon. Um, you know, if you guys want to see any kind of particular topic discussed, I can always bring some resellers together and we can talk about it. Um, just leave your suggestions in the comments below this video when it comes up or, uh, or now. Um, or you can do that over in the Facebook group too. Um, recommend some things that you want um, some sellers to talk about and we will, I'll get a panel together and we'll talk about it. Um, also, uh, you know, I'm always open to show ideas. I don't know if I'm going to continue flashback Friday. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it, but it, it can be a little time consuming just because of all the research involved and stuff. Um, and then, um, I'm considering doing, if I can figure out how to make it work a weekly live show. Um, but you know, I'm open to suggestions for that too. All right. So without further ado, um, just remember, I do, I do <laughs> just remember that the dreams work when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working and I'll see you the next time. Bye. Bye everybody.